What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I want to talk about the Iron Banner and give you guys my personal opinion on why I think it turned out to be trash. But before we get into the video guys, do you guys want to win some epic loot? If so, stay tuned until the end of the video to find out more. So Iron Banner, what used to be a monthly event within Destiny 1, which came around month by month, offering a variety of decent weapons and armors. Each month it brought two weapons, two armors and a class item. Those items normally had the perfect role from Lord Saladin himself or Ephrodite, but you could also obtain those very weapons from end of game rewards with different roles. You could also earn emblems, shaders and even on rare occasions, the ships. Iron Banner back in the day also had ranks. It had 5 ranks in total, normally within certain ranks reached, we could then purchase gear assigned to that rank. Iron Banner would also offer us bounties too which also dropped to loot. At the end of the day, the grind was there for sure, the loot was there, although most of the time we knew what we were getting, it was still there. Iron Banner also had a system in place where level mattered, just like Trials. The higher you were, the more powerful you were, simple as that. But oh, as good as it's sounding, let's not forget about the Iron Banana connections, they were terrible. But it's okay now, this was back in the past, we now have Destiny 2, which no doubt will have fixed all of them issues. So let's look at the Iron Banner within Destiny 2. Okay for sure, it might be still a monthly thing, that's cool. But there's literally nothing else to it besides normal PvP with added loot. No ranks to work towards with Lord Saladin, no power advantage, which I will talk more about in a sec, a loot system which is flawed, connections no better than what they were in Destiny 1, even though things have changed to a 4v4 mode, and a few other things. Weapons, again, were just reskins, nothing unique about them at all. Armors, yes, they were great, but actually getting a full set of armor now is way harder than it used to be. Before, yes for sure, only a certain set of items would be brought, armor and weapon wise, but it meant the month after you would get a complete set. Now there is no limit on the loot you can obtain, but there's also no set loot either. You can open 50 packages and still not get all what you desire. The engrams in which these come from take 20 Iron Banner tokens, which you get for playing Iron Banner, 5 per win, 2 per loss, so the grind is real for sure, which I am happy with, I just feel the reward is well not as specific as it should be. A friend of mine had to open 35 packages before he got full hunter armor. That's 700 tokens. That's around 140 wins. That is crazy if you ask me. Also the fact these Iron Banner engrams drop normal crucible gear should not be the case at all. It's Iron Banner, we want Iron Banner gear. Connections seem okay for me as a player who plays within the UK. Everything is great up until about 6pm, then all goes to crap, I mean serious crap. It's like the servers then become overloaded which affects connections within PvP and surely that should not be the case at all. And let's not talk about the spawns. The spawning system within this game seems absolutely shocking and even worse within Iron Banner if that's even possible. I know I ain't the only one to experience it either. Also guys, trying to solo queue is horrendous. Running to full teams while playing solo is a real problem. Then running around together, you suffering from team shots is an absolute nightmare. And if you imagine, but if my pal had to open 35 packages to get full gear, that's 140 wins. If you are playing solo, that will not be the case. You will get two per loss, and that's around 350 games to get 35 packages. That's if you're constantly losing. And if you're going in against teams of four as a solo player, that's probably going to be the case all the time. And that, in my opinion, is just not right. Our power levels as well are one of the main problems here. It's within the law of the Iron Banner. Why has Bungie disregarded it? What is power level actually useful nowadays? Is there anything? I don't think there is. Iron Banner is just a standard PvP reskin. It doesn't feel any different. It doesn't feel special. It's crazy how I can play about six or seven hours of Iron Banner and not enjoy it at all. Play Fortnite Battle Royale for an hour and absolutely have 10 times the amount of fun. That shouldn't be the case. I was also expecting upon the arrival of the Iron Banner some kind of quest or story telling us the whereabouts of what happened during the attack, but nope, nothing at all. Iron Banner should have sticked to how it was before. A ranking system in place would have been much better. You have the emblem which states how many packages you've opened, which is kind of 50% there, but we need more than just an emblem like this. In my opinion, the Iron Banner, as much as I've played it and will continue to play it, has fallen downhill. Nothing of what I thought it would be. How they can stay on Twitter all seems fine is beyond me as well. Even after all the complaints people are making, it's complete BS. Heads in the sand or what? I just hope they fix this game up within the near future. So many issues with what they are doing and more and more people are coming out and talking about it. 
I made this video because I feel I have a bigger voice than many other people within the community and I know I'm one of a select few who will call out Bungie on this matter. But guys down below let me know your experiences within the Iron Banner. Did you enjoy it? Did you not? Let me know. And on that note guys we have come to the end of the video. Thanks for stopping by as always. If you want to win some epic loot simply drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below and join my discord server linked within the video description. But thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next video. Always in the wrong Knowing where we stand